We've had some terrible nights lately. Ever since we left Gibraltar, we've been bitten and it just keeps going on and on and on. Welcome back to the channel. We're Dan and Stephen, a married couple who live full time in our little VW camper van. Between work, we travel our home country of the UK, navigating the challenges that van life brings in all seasons and learning as we go. Well, sort of. In reality, we just cross our fingers and hope for the best. In 2023, we took our home to Europe, and this week we crossed the border into Portugal to explore a whole new country. So sit back, relax, and uh, come along, dear. Good afternoon. Okay, so we have left Gibraltar. Um, and we're actually going to be leaving Spain today as well. So we're on our way to Portugal and we're about half an hour away now. Um, hadn't really thought about it, you know, we, we, we knew we were going there, but it's just suddenly dawned on us that, hang on, it's a different time zone, it's a different language. <laughs> All these things that we didn't really think about, it's like, oh, we're driving to Portugal, but obviously it's a completely different country. Um, yeah, so there's, there'll be new things to get used to, but that's quite exciting. So yeah, we're heading over there. We've just found a little park up that we're gonna head, head towards. <clears throat> and then we'll start exploring from tomorrow, I guess, because um, it's been quite a long drive today. We're kind of like looking towards the end of our trip and it's, it's a bit sad because you don't want it to come to an end. But before we even think about that, because that's just a bit depressing thinking about going home, let's, um, let's just think about, we've got Portugal, so we've got a whole new country to explore. We know nothing about it. Um, so very exciting, looking forward to it. <laughs> So we are in Portugal and I think we've got to register our card for tolls apparently. Are we in the right place? In 300 meters, merge onto A22. She doesn't think so. So it should, so basically we're in Portugal, we've got to put our card in to pay for the tolls here. It kind of electronically takes money from your card as you go, which on one hand is handy, but obviously if you miss it, you'll get fined. So we need to put my bank card in I guess. So we've arrived in Portugal, um, I have been bitten to death, so this has happened since we're in Gibraltar. My feet are absolutely hacked to pieces. So if you watch the recent videos, well actually by the time you watch this it won't be recent, but our videos from the Cairngorms, you'll remember where Stephen got absolutely eaten alive and um, I didn't so much and now it seems like the tables have turned and calm has come to get me because <laughs> my feet are just... It's awful, I've been bitten on my face. There's a big lump there, you can't quite see it. <laughs> mm. I've been bitten on my face, I've been bitten on a few places on my arms, but my feet are absolutely covered. I'm not gonna show you, because it's really disgusting, but they're bleeding. I've got some witch hazel and some little pads I've been kind of treating it with, but the worst thing is we don't know what they are, because we can't see them, we can't catch them. Um, I was kept up most of the night and I was bitten in the night. I have not seen, neither of us, Stephen's had some bites as well. Um, we have not seen once what this actual thing is and it's really frustrating because you think, well, it's probably a mosquito, but you should be able to see a mosquito, right? And we haven't seen anything yet. So I don't know what it is. But yeah, Portugal. We're in Portugal. And I've got to treat my bites because they are itchy. Show your feet. No, I'm not showing my feet. That's disgusting. They are really bad. <laughs> Right, so what are we going to do in Portugal, Stevie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so organised as ever, like we just, we never plan anything. There's never ever any plans. I think before we did this whole European trip, the only thing we knew was we were going to go down one way and up the other. Um, we had a rough idea we might nip into Benidorm. We had a rough idea that we might go somewhere near Malaga, you know, little vague things. But generally we had no idea and it's worked out really well somehow. Um, but for Portugal, we're gonna have to really sort of look at where to go because I, we've got absolutely no idea. So <laughs> I'd say give us some advice, but by the time we see this, we'll be back. So <laughs> it's too late for that. Good morning. Right, so we're in Portugal. We arrived with very little fanfare, but it's all quite nice. We found a little park up. Um, it's just like a free space. It's a free car park, basically. There's no services. There are, but they're out of service. Um, but it's fine, it's somewhere to stay for free and there were shops, so we're all fine. And yeah, then we're gonna make our way down the coast and that's it really, I'm gonna go for a run. We, I, we need a shower and I think half the reason we've been bitten is because we're just covered in like 
human stench. stench. <laughs> yeah. So shower today. So I think we're going to go onto a little site. It looks like it's 12 euros for everything included, which is pretty good value if that's true. Um, but we'll see. So that's it really. Going to go for a run. We'll see you further down the coast. I love how we can just leave it in there and it just does it by itself. <laughs> sometimes it does fall out. It does fall out sometimes, but it's quite nice you don't actually have to hold it in. Uh, we're in a little place called Tavira. Um, I talked about this earlier, but it was, I think I said it wrong. Um, but I think it's called Tavira and we were kind of read about it. Um, and we, we'd heard that it was somewhere to, that was definitely worth visiting and a lot of people tend to pass it by when they're going through the Algarve. So we're on a little campsite. Um, it's really good actually, because it's 12 euros 50 a night. That's with electric. Um, you do have to pay a euro for the shower and unfortunately you do have to pay, is it 50 cents for the toilet? Um, but apart from that, yeah, well, the toilet thing's a bit bizarre. Um, but apart from that, it's actually quite nice. And you know, for, for what you get, it's not too bad. We've even got a water tap on our pitch and I think every, pretty much every pitch has that. So on balance, I think it's pretty good. Um, we arrived pretty... No, exactly, you'd never get that back in the UK, that sort of price. And in fact, that seems cheaper than Spain already. But yeah, I don't know what's happened ever since we've left Gibraltar. Well, ever since Gibraltar till now, we're constantly bitten and I've got this horrible bite. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just gone all pussy and awful. It's just terrible. Um, my feet are itching like mad and it's still happening. So, just let the truck pass. So yeah, not feeling too great because of all the bites and itches. And like Stephen just said, it's enough to drive you insane, um, especially in the night. So kind of hoping that subsides or we move to another area where, they, where they're not about. But I don't know how that's going to go, to be honest. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go and enjoy the... What's it called? Tavira. 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 <laughs> We're going to Vera. Yeah. <laughs> the Portuguese town of Tavira is situated just over the border from Spain on the south coast, and possibly for this reason it's often bypassed as people rush towards the tourist hotspots of the Algarve. But Tavira is a picturesque place that deserves to be savoured in its own right. Full of cobbled streets, tiled houses and pretty churches, it's a mix of traditional Portuguese and its Moorish past, with a history stretching back to 400 BC. The Gilao River runs through the middle of the town and is crossed by the Roman Bridge, with the current structure being built in 1667. While there are obviously tourists here too, there's something very peaceful and romantic about walking through Tavira's decorative streets, offering a charming alternative in the popular Algarve. Is there anything more sort of Portuguese feeling than sitting in on the little pavement on the side street with a little beer? <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, one thing actually, it's it's a bit of a strange one, but one thing I've noticed and somehow kept an eye on when you're travelling between different countries and the differences is pavement. And it seems to me that between the UK, France, Spain and now Portugal, everybody has a different style of pavement and it seems like a lot of countries are like that. It's quite an obvious thing, it's weird. Um, and now I don't know if this is what Portugal's known for of its pavements, but that's all we've seen since we've come here. And I think it's probably my favorite so far, actually. I really like it. It's kind of cobbled. So they seem to have all these kind of little stone squares that make it look really kind of old fashioned. It's really nice. Spain seems to have kind of like big rectangular slabs. And the UK, I can't even remember the UK now, but it's normally just a bit of concrete isn't it? It's not really anything. <laughs> so yeah all important pavement um, information there. <laughs> Highly interesting. But you notice these things it's just little quirks like that that you notice when you go to a different country and I, I just find it fascinating really. 
got to love a pavement. <sighs> okay, so I'm filming this in the middle of the night. <laughs> we've had some terrible nights lately. Ever since we left Gibraltar, we've been bitten and it just keeps going on and on and on. And it's either the old bites irritating or new bites appearing. It's a combination of both. But the worst thing is here, we can't seem to see what it is. In Scotland, you knew it was midges and you could see them, but here it feels like you can't and it's driving us absolutely insane. It's half three in the morning. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do really. We've got some antihistamines, we've taken them. Um, but tomorrow we need to go to the pharmacist and get, get some cream or something because this is just nuts. But the thing is, the worst thing is just not being able to see them. We have seen some fl things flying around that could be midges, um, but the fact it's happening at night and we can't see them in the van, no matter for all our attempts, it's 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 nuts. So it's kind of ruining things a bit at the moment um, and making us want to run away <laughs> and just leave this place. I don't know how it's going to go, but yeah, that's where we're at. Bites. Bites, bites, bites. So we've got some lavender oil and we're kind of banking on this doing... It's cooling. Doing something at least. We've tried witch hazel. But the fact is they still keep coming, whatever these things are. Good morning. So we've... I don't know if I have to start these videos, Stephen. What do I say? Just good morning. Good morning. Um, right, so we left our campsite in Tavira and the bites are still there, bite update. <laughs> They're still there, but we smothered ourselves in lavender oil and it seems to have done the trick to a point and we managed to get some sleep in the end. So thankfully it didn't carry on through the night, but yeah, the bites are still there. I don't think we've got any new ones, which is good. So maybe it has worked. Um, yeah, so we're heading on now. We're going to da, 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 a little a little town further along called Ohau. Ohau. Oh, they just said it. I don't know how it's. I'll, I'll, I'll write it there. But we're going to that town. <laughs> so we're in this little town. Um, Ohau. Is it called? Ohau. Ohau. The first thing we decided to do is get a ferry. We just bought tickets and we don't know where we're going. <laughs> so this is good. We've got to try and figure out now what we've actually got to do and where we've got to go. Because we pay for return tickets and we think the ferry leaves soon, but we actually don't know where, where we are. It was just on a whim, really. So just to clear that up, we didn't actually visit the town of Oliao, but took a boat ride offshore instead. On this part of the coast, there are several islands to explore, taking you to a whole other world of the Algarve. We decided to visit the island of Calatra, which takes about half hour, and the best thing about this is the fact it's only about four euros per person for a round trip from Oliao's port, making it a really affordable day out. Just be sure to bring some provisions with you, as despite a few amenities, it's fairly isolated. Oh, and make sure you don't miss the last ferry back, or you'll be sleeping on the sand. Our stop was at the far end of the island in a place called Farrell. While the weather wasn't great that day, as soon as we stepped off the boat, we realised we'd reached a place that felt a million miles from the Algarve's most popular haunts. It was a weird and wonderful world, full of unusual huts and homes, full of character and originality, with shingle gardens laid out before you, sandy beaches, and some spectacularly clear water. There's a shop and a couple of bars here, but depending on when you visit, you might just have the place all to yourself. It very much reminded us of Dungeness in Kent, but a bit less bleak and much warmer, obviously. This is beautiful. I feel like we've started our Portuguese adventure now. We won't be here for too long, but we're going to try and enjoy it while we can, um, whatever we do. So, it's nice to this time of year here, just us on this little island, because there's nobody here. No, there isn't. There's hardly anyone here at all. There's no peopling involved. No, no. <laughs> not at all. We 
With the sun setting, we hopped on the last ferry off the island and back to the mainland to settle down for the night in the high-class setting of a supermarket car park. But oh how grateful we were that this is allowed in many places in Portugal. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing and press the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.